we knew we needed a penultimate scene. There had been this kind of, oh, well, it'll be the coronation, etc. And, and I just kept thinking to myself, we got to do better than this. I just remember we were in the writer's room one day and I was like, it would be awesome if Rainey's just came through the floor on a dragon. The visual of it was so powerful and so much fun. It went in immediately and we never looked back. Once a uh, melee turns up and all hell breaks loose, then it's a lot of destruction, a lot of dust and splinters and pure chaos. It's huge, that sequence, because there's lots of physical simulations to do. First of all, you're building an environment. You've got CG crowd work, simulated dust clouds, etc. in there. So it's a lot of work, a lot of integration. You have Rainice on the buck, and there's such a brilliant showdown between her and Alison that's not verbal at all, it's purely in the eyes. When previewing, drawing and storyboarding and shooting, you have to consider dragons, although they're not even there. Anytime there's a dragon in the scene, all hilarity ensues among the cast because, of course, there's never a dragon trying to act opposite a man holding a stick with a ball on it with a dragon. And me shouting, OK, Olivia, the dragon's going to get you. It's going to take a breath. And then we'd have SFX blow the dragon breath on Olivia's hair, and Olivia's hair would just, like, shoot back. It takes every ounce of creative imagination going on inside your head for that to work. Renis is a Targaryen, so I use a color red and black for the armor. It was a really nice one to make in that it's quite understated. It's deliberately very elegant. It obviously shows wealth and power, but it's not too in your face in that regard. But it was probably 10 to 12 weeks in terms of modeling to get the form right. It's all perfectly tailored to a shape, which involved a lot of repeat fittings. Which I'm told looks amazing. It's unbelievably uncomfortable. One of the nice details that we managed to incorporate was the talon scales on the front of the chest. It was just a nice little, really subtle visual clue that, you know, you just need to be a little bit careful who you're going to mess with. <laughs> We wanted a triumphal moment for her at the end of the season, and uh, we see her being the one that's going to take the news to Dragonstone of the coup and of Rhaenyra's throne being stolen. It's a great heroic moment for her character. When she wasn't picked in Harren Hall right at the beginning, I think inside her spirit wanted to get on a dragon and burst through the ceiling and say, fuck you all.